In this section, we shall look at some simple equations and the methods used to find their solution. There are four basic rules. Rule 1. An equal quantity may be added to both the sides of the equation. Rule 2. An equal quantity may be subtracted from both the sides of the equation. Rule 3. An equal quantity may be multiplied to both sides of the equation. Rule 4. An equal non-zero quantity may be used to divide both the sides of the equation. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Linear equations, word problems related to linear equations. Here we will learn about linear equations. We observe the following statements. If 5 is added to the number x, the result is 25. If 7 is subtracted from a number x, the result is 10. If a number x is multiplied by 8, the result is 48. If a number x is divided by 10, the result is 7. Equality A statement which contains the sign equals to is called an equality. Example, x plus 7 is equal to 10. 4x minus 5 is equal to 7. 8x is equal to 40. Equation A statement of equality which contains one or more literal numbers is called an equation. Example, x plus 4 is equal to 12. 2x minus 3 is equal to 13. 8x is equal to 32. x divided by 4 is equal to 10. Sides of equations An equation has two sides called the left-hand side LHS and the right-hand side RHS. Left-hand side LHS The part of an equation before the sign of equality is called left-hand side. Right-hand side RHS The part of an equation after the sign of equality is called right-hand side. Variable Literal numbers, unknowns, contained in an equation are called the variables of the equation. These are usually denoted by x, y, z, u, v, w, etc. Constant a quantity which takes a fixed numerical value is called a constant. For example, 4, 7 are constants. Variable. The word variable means something that can vary. That is, change. A variable in algebra takes on different numerical values. The value of a variable is not fixed. Variables are usually denoted by letters of alphabet such as X, Y, Z, L, M, N, P, etc., etc. Expression From variables, we form expressions. The expressions are formed by performing operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on variables. For example, 5x plus 3 is an expression in which first we multiply variable x by 5 and then add 3 Linear equation. An equation in which the highest power of the variable is 1 is called linear equation. Linear equation in one variable. An equation which contains only one literal number, unknown, with the highest power 1 is called a linear equation in one variable. For example, all the equations written below are equations in one variable, x. Solution of an equation. A number which satisfies an equation is called the solution or root of the equation. We can solve a simple linear equation in one variable by two methods. Trial and error method, systematic method. Trial and error method for solving an equation. We try several values of x and find the LHS and the RHS. We stop when for a particular value of x, LHS is equal to RHS. This value of x is the solution or root of the equation. Let us understand trial and error method with the help of the following examples. Systematic method. The solution or root of the equation is that value of the variable for which the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, that is, equation becomes a true statement. 
Rules for Solving Linear Equations Rule 1. Same quantity can be added to both sides of the equation. Rule 2. Same quantity can be subtracted from both sides of the equation. Rule 3. Both the sides of an equation can be multiplied by the same number. Rule 4. Both the sides of the equation can be divided by the same non-zero number. An analogy between an equation and a weighing balance help us to solve a given equation. While solving the equation, we keep the following principles in mind. The balance of an equation will be maintained if we add the same amount to both sides, subtract the same amount from both sides, multiply both sides by the same amount, divide both sides by the same amount. Let's consider an equation 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. Now we subtract 4 from left-hand side. The equation becomes unbalanced. To balance it, we subtract 4 from the right-hand side too. Hence, we get 2x is equal to 6. Now, we divide both sides with the coefficient of x, that is 2. Therefore, we get x is equal to 3.